Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here, aka Dokkan Assets, and today I am joined by... Jay. <laughs> AKA? AKA Walter791 on streams, AKA the nice Polish boy. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you, thank you our wonderful patrons at our place of employment. Anyhow, today, as you can see before you, and probably by the title, we're gonna be building a gaming PC just to play Dokkan. It's gonna be a great time. My friend here, by the way, is here not just for the, uh, the clear eye candy, but he is, uh, you, you've told me before that you wouldn't call yourself an expert, but definitely a, what was the term that you used? Uh, an amateur. <laughs> Regardless though, he knows what he's doing for the most part anyway. So, let's just get into it. Uh, let's just jump right into it. <laughs> Everything that you see on the table, we're gonna kind of go over here today. We're gonna tell you some different price points and whatnot for it. I'm gonna tell you where we got it and whatnot, because obviously everything when it comes to building computers is kind of, I don't wanna say like liquid pricing, but it's almost like it doesn't have a set price point. No, there's always sales and whatnot and demand increases or decreases the prices, especially around holidays. Literally any holiday you could possibly think about, you know, 4th of July, my birthday. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to clear off the table here because we, we have our beautiful set here, also probably the thumbnail. And then, after that, we're gonna go one by one and put them in this baby right here, which is probably what we'll reveal first. So let's get everything off the table. All right, first things first, let's unpack the case. Oh, I really was hoping I could just whip it off, but it's not that easy. Gotta be careful. Of course, of course. So, this case, obviously, pretty nice. I like it. Oh, hey, look at that. The manual, probably important. Let's throw that off to the side. Look at this beauty oh, right here, bro. Take the nice first Thank you. Oh, yeah, right. There should be plastic on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this right is right the, up the side. Let's go. Magnet. Ready? Oh, I'm sure some of you in the comments had a real good time with that one. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh oh, stinky. All right, we'll take care of it. Beautiful. Oh, stay. Good boy. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm a professional, I swear. Nice. Professional clown. Oh! Professional clown, indeed. We'll have to uh, get it out for one of the others, but that's not that big of a deal. Well, oh well, too late. It's not that bad. All right. Yeah, you can just work on that. So, let's talk about the cage real quick. Oh, here, come on over here, dude. Ah, uh, this side. Here, you can just do from the top. Oh, yeah, that works too. <laughs> it's light enough to do this. Yeah, right. I forgot you can just leave it over. Now, thank you. The nice thing about this computer, obviously besides the look of it, the beautiful white finish, the glass side so you can see all the insides right, is the fact that it's Corsair. You'll probably notice two things throughout this video. One, this man is a Corsair fanboy. <laughs> and besides the fact that he's a fanboy, all the parts that can light up are Corsair. Now again, that's partially because he's a fanboy, but the other reason that we did that is for consistency. Because what's nice with Corsair, like other companies that make products that have lights for computers, they have a program. IQ technology. Exactly. All lights can be synced up in one software program. Which is very nice. Then obviously you could, you know, make whatever color you want anything to be. You could make everything one color. Very nice consistency. So we got everything coarser so then we can just match up the colors for everything. And that is also going to come into play later besides just the cool factor of it. But for now, let's take a look at the inside of this boy. It is very, very nice um, as you can see. Nice and compact as well. Um, not too big. Obviously, I know that might be a little bit of an understatement considering it looks kind of big, um, but it's good. It's a nice compact size um, and it will fit everything that we have quite nicely. How's she looking, champ? Well, the person who uh, put this on did a half decent job of cable management. Well, that's good. Very nice to see. That'll also be another reason why you're here as well because uh, cable management, I am awful at. <laughs> facts, facts. All right, so the next step is the motherboard here. 
What do we got here, my guy? What, what are we looking at? So we have an MSI MPG X570, bro. <laughs> bro. Is bro in the name? No. <laughs> bro, I actually. It was. Should I? That's yeah, okay. As long as it's in the plastic, right? With your clown skills, <laughs> I don't trust you necessarily. Fair enough. There's a DVD? Yes. For what? It's a CD for a setup. Stuff. Interesting. All right, well, I guess we're in the caveman times again. Must throw that away. What's all this extra stuff we got? Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so you can put a nice badge on it. Cool, cool, very nice. I assume these are also essential cables. Essential oils? Essential oils, yeah. Uh, oh, the Wi-Fi antenna that we're not going to use. Okay, yes. cool. Oh, yeah, it does have an integrated Wi-Fi. Yeah, right. but it's not 5G, so unfortunate. It's this, uh, where did that go? Oh, no, yeah, we definitely can't show that, I don't think, because this is like the product code. Oh, uh, yeah. So probably don't. Actually, no, we'll need that. Yeah. So Absolutely, we will need that. that. Look at all oh, hey, I'm gonna yoink one of these from you. <laughs> For what? For mine. Why? Oh, because I don't have that screw. Oh, okay. Okay, so we have nice little, uh, little stickers we can put on certain cables. You know, boot disc. Other disc. <laughs> Is that what it sand? says? Well, yeah, right there. Boot disc. Oh, no, no, What's for labeling? Disc. Gotcha. That's cool. Quick installation guide. Nah, we don't need that. <laughs> Shootout for MSI. Bro, you can win a Steam gift card, bro. bro. Link in the description. Just kidding. Um, by the way, I do want to mention all these parts will be linked in the link in the description if you would like to build a similar or the same PC to the one that I'm building. Um, if you get it through Amazon, because some of the parts unfortunately aren't available through Amazon right now, but all the parts that are available through Amazon are gonna be through my Amazon affiliate link. So if you would like to buy them through that link, I get a little bit of a cut with no extra cost to you. So support your boy, I appreciate it. But everything that I can't find on Amazon, I'm just gonna list wherever we can find it. But back to the parts. What are we doing here We're next? putting in RAM. RAM? What does the RAM do? So the RAM or random access memory is the easiest form of memory your computer can access. It allows you to run applications, games, pretty much whatever you want. It's what uh, tanks whenever you have too many Google Chrome tabs. <laughs> Bro, I only had three open. Why did my computer crash? What's the problem? Bro, you, you, can, you can have 50 tabs open with these wow. bad boys. RGB. Corsair, of course, Vengeance Pro, 3200 megahertz. Which is very, very nice. It's pretty epic, so. Oh, I see, so there's like a lock on this. Yes. So just push it down? Yep, until you hear it click. A little bit wobbly, but I mean. Oh, that's because it's supported only at the bottom. Next is our yeah. CPU. That nice Ryzen 9 3900X. Beautiful. Got it for a whopping $360 off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. It comes with an epic RGB cooler. We'll be doing a giveaway for it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We We also get a nice little Ryzen 9 badge. I don't know if you want to put it on there. Oh, it's just a sticker? Wait, so they have all this flare, all this drip, <laughs> and they just give you this dinky sticker? Bruh! Most importantly, just like a CD, you only want to hold it on the corners. Okay. Especially not on the pins here, because they can break. So you're saying so that- you'll, you'll see, you won't really be able to see, but there's a little arrow on one of the corners and with the uh, on the actual slot itself. See what you gotta do? Slide that point. That's in not there. the correct uh, orientation. See, it's a square. And oh. then you just what? Ooh. And it just sits in. Wait, there that's like a that? square. <laughs> Bruh, yes. I thought it was an oval. Interesting. Very interesting. So you're saying the sticker would just go on the top here, basically? Yes. Okay. I'll just leave it here for now and pretend that I stuck it on. All right. 
Next part, what do we got? This is a bunch of screws. What are we gonna do? <laughs> okay, so these are for the mounting points, which are both already on here. Mm -hmm. So our next. What are we mounting on there? The cooler. The cooler. So oh. We're not gonna do that yet. I love cooler. He's way cooler than Frieza. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Yes. King Cole? King Cole. Listen, this is a Dokkan PC. I have to make the joke. <laughs> Stop laughing at me, cameraman. <laughs> I'm gonna get these cables out of the way. Okay. Set this is there anything over there? Yes. More importantly, the box. Yeah, of course. Wait, this has... What? Yeah, that's where your uh, hard disk and hard drive goes. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to add in the uh, M.2 slot. I'm going to have uh, my boy here peel it off. Oh! Like oh! What? Why? Well, it's got to be a bit pat. And there goes the screw. What is this for, though? It's got to be padded. Interesting. Oh, because it's up against something in the box, I see. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So this, I do remember you telling me what this does. Basically, this piece right here is going to help videos render. Faster. Which is also what uh, the editor just got in his computer as well. Yeah. But so imagine having a boot time on your operating system be like two seconds. It's it's absolutely incredible. Very good stuff. And obviously, uh, when we want to get videos out faster, that is definitely going to help a little bit. This is made by Samsung, also. I didn't even know that Samsung made computer parts. I guess I could have assumed that, but yeah. interesting. So this just this tiny little thing. But my you know my hand for scale. It's a tiny little thing. It's very powerful. 500 gigs on this bad boy. We wanted the one terabyte model, but uh, unfortunately, it's not really for sale anywhere. So. And it's also super expensive. Well, not super expensive, but it's a lot more expensive compared to the 500 one. And for me personally, because we were thinking about it, um, I don't really need too much space when it comes to the computer, um, just because. Right now, I only have a terabyte of space on my computer, and I don't even use all of it. Granted, I do my best to keep a lot of extra space there, just in case. So, it's fine by me. Um, and the other thing that I will probably put in this eventually um, is a hard drive as well, because the hard drive will just be extra space that I can just slap in there if I want to. So, that's also a, a yeah, plus. Yeah, it's gonna right? be like a kind of archival, because for most things, you wanna have an SSD. Uh, cause they're very nice. <laughs> well, there's gotta be more reason than they're just nice. Well, they're faster. Right, didn't you explain it to me? It's because it's, it's because it's not like a hardware change? Well, well it's mainly cause the difference between a hard drive and a SSD is uh, hard drives, they have physical components. So it's basically like a series of CDs stacked on top of each other. And you can throw in an image of uh, what the inside of a hard, hard drive looks like. It's just a stack of CDs and there's moving parts. SSDs, solid state drive. There's absolutely nothing to move. All right, so next we're gonna put on our waterproof block. This is an all-in-one. You can kind of dust you already. <laughs> Perfect. Oh boy. We're gonna put on our all-in-one waterproof block. It's a it's a nice hybrid between just pure air cooling and a traditional water cooling setup. Because uh, I don't have any confidence in a traditional water cooling setup. <laughs> um, so how do we get the water in? Or whatever we're doing now, I guess. The water's already in. Wait, what? Oh, interesting. Here, can we get that? I don't know if you can hear it. Maybe you can. No. Um, you added in some water sound effects to make them feel better. <laughs> okay, I just need your water. So, hold this. Here, um, hold this. Thanks. So, what we're doing is mounting our block. As you can see, we had to make some uh, concessions because unfortunately, the radiator with these two fans won't fit 
up here with the ram sticks being right here, so we have to go for this, which is, that's fine. Uh, now we have to deal with the most uh, tedious mounting that I have ever seen in my entire life. These go on like this. These are thumb screws. So now, turn this over and line up these two little hooks, with, or loops, I guess, with these two hooks down here. But you see, they don't just like go in nicely. That's hooked on. So since you're putting thermal paste on there, I assume how that works is that once you turn it on, it heats up and it fuses to it? Yes. So how do you get it off? Do you just not get it off? What, thermal paste? No, no, I mean, how do you get the CPU off of the cooler? Or is it just stuck on there forever? No, you just unscrew this and you pull it off. The CPU is not really bounded by anything. You're just putting the thermal paste there is as a contact layer so that heat from the CPU goes into the thermal paste so that on the other side, where there's a nice copper heat sink there, it'll absorb the heat and move it in through one of these loops here with water. Also, this is plastic we need to pull off here. Yes, we do. Also, I got it in on one shot. Nice. I literally disproved my own point. Epic gamer moment. Okay, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to uh, put on our thick. Oh, graphics. it's time for the thick? Yes, it is actually called. The XFX Thick 3 Ultra. <laughs> Not kidding. And it sold for $420 on Amazon. <laughs> Not a joke. Beautiful. Can we get that, uh, that clip of uh, Aku saying extra thick. thick? Thank you. I appreciate it. Actually, ah, la, la. <laughs> uh, that's better right. idea. We're going to put in the Wi Fi card in because oh. it's really small and it's going to fit down here. Gotcha. But well, you're putting it inside. Yeah. Bye. That's where it's supposed to go. So I like how it damaged the boxes because I got it off of eBay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this might actually be repackaged, not sure. But that's okay. And we got the Asus card. Looks like it was made in like 2003, but it's uh, pretty good. So we have more, we have more CDs. That's taped, of course. <laughs> thank, thank you, Asus. Very thank, cool. Thank God I don't have a CG drive. Just kidding, I have an external one. It's fine. See, this is very nice because this is actually magnetic. So it sticks. Yeah, that's what you have on your computer. I do, except I have the four prong one. You have one with a three prong one. And what's the difference? Mine's faster. One prong. One prong, one yeah. Prong. <laughs> fair, fair. Although oh. the, the only difference that actually matters is your internet is far faster than mine is. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. By like a lot. He's This boy's got like 100 megabytes per second. I have 10. <laughs> So we don't really need the four card, is what you're saying. No. I mean, it, you know, bigger is better. Yeah. But that can always be upgraded in the future. Yes. I mean, it's certainly not going to be slower than the computer that the audio is being recorded on right yeah. now, that's for sure. Literally, I mean, you just look at the size of this thing compared to like my head. Yeah, that's dope. That's very cool. massive. I like it. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Just a small detail. Uh, the time of day is different, and we're wearing different clothes. And the case is a bit different. Because you see, we had the biggest brain moment on the planet. You see, on the planet? I had this epiphany, as you saw like two seconds ago. Oh, hey, the graphics card doesn't fit. So, that's, this is our original case, and it's too small. And I'm like, oh, it's because we got the wrong case. And then we got it's over there, yeah. the case in the corner there. It's the same size. 
just the black and it didn't fit. And a different it's just front piece. darker yeah. color. And we're like, well, shoot. I just spent money on this case. Guess I got to take it home. And then we drove half an hour to get a new case. And fortunately, this time it fits. I we we, we checked before we even left the store. Opened it out. Took it out of the box. Took our measurements. And we're like, okay, we're Gucci. Call me blessed. And so now we're actually gonna put the graphics card in. And we're gonna get rid of this one. <laughs> Just yoed it off screen. <laughs> okay, now this one, while it does fit, it takes a bit of finagling. However, it does fit. We double checked, we swear. <laughs> we swear, we even we double checked with the and professional. It fits. We have about one millimeter of space between the radiator and the graphics card, but it fits. That's all that matters, and we can finally take off. Oh, these little, oh thank you. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna put in our uh, PlayStation here. <laughs> uh, see, Corsair is very special because their box opens from the front. And... Whoa! Epic gamer. I know this is way too expensive to do it, but I wish we could do the thing that items does where he like shoves everything on the table. Just throws it. Good important name. information. Don't need that. <laughs> this, very important. Power cable. The camera and front. Don't need that. <laughs> oh, they even come with uh, tea bags. <laughs> Bro, what does that say? Eat that? All right, good to know. Now you're just It's for your teeth. <laughs> it's for your teeth. So what is this? this is so that's the, the bundle of cables. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. Oh, boy. You guys and gals can't smell it, but oh, baby, does this smell like <gasps> plastic. Are we at a Red Lobster, bro? Why does that smell like seafood? I mean, it came from China, didn't it? I guess so. I don't know. All right, we'll just pick this uh, bad puppy in. Don't want anything wrong up. Oh, that smells, is that the bag or the? I guess it's the cables. Dang, that smells pretty stinky. You need all this for the power supply? Well, not all of it. It's a fully modular power supply. So what does so that mean? So we only need what we need. Oh, I see. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we only need what we need, but what does that mean? That's it. That's on. We'll spend about five hours putting these uh, little covers back on. <laughs> this is probably the... Well, don't we need to plug these in first? No. No? Well, then how does it work? How does it work? <laughs> well, we'll uh, crush our finger. Actually, you're right. That probably is a good idea. Look at me. I'm helping. In the words of my boy Krillin. Woohoo! I'm helping! <laughs> Shh, be quiet, man. <laughs> Nobody cares about you. Uh, all all right, boy. everyone, it's time to cry. Actually, no, it's, um... What else? What do we need? We'll put, where, there it is. Our nice, um... Eh, our nice, uh, VNAND SSD. Oh, black rectangle, wow. Nice, that's cool. Looks very cool as well. I try yeah. and take Ooh. it out and get clapped. Oh, you didn't see it! Look it at that, what, out. watch this. <laughs> Whoa. Nice! Poggers? Oh. <laughs> oh, well that's nifty. At least you don't have to worry about fitting your fat fingers in there and pulling it out. Yeah, right? Do one. Alright, now we got to uh, throw on the front panel. Now I have to say, this was one of the more annoying parts because they're, they're just little snaps. And they're just a, a pain in the, in the gizzard. To put on and on. But it does light up, <laughs> which is also part of why I bought this case because it's so cool. Again, we'll show you that picture in a second. But baby just snaps right on there. Baby just snaps right on there. Oh, here, let's get that. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. Interesting. We gotta put on the top, top text. And then the, the top text. And then we gotta slap the glass in there. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh hey, look, we got a 3M in here. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. All right, so that is good. That baby looks beautiful, I will say. I love the look of the PC. All right, now we uh, put our front panel on. 
Oh, before we do that, by the way, we do have one finishing touch. Oh, the reason why this has been sitting here the whole video. Right Slap them right in there. Beautiful. That is going to come into play on the part two of this video where we spice it up a little That's bit. Not a great but I figured for the time being, I might as well throw the homie in there, you know what I mean? All we have left to do now it's is the um, uh, spark test. This, yeah. If is it, it sparks, alrighty. Is it going to explode? Let's hope not, because that will make a great thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Ironically enough, for this big beefy boy, this is the monitor that we're going to be testing it's the it on. one we have. Alright. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. We've got power. It's lighting up. Okay. Looks pretty good. Everything looks very nice. No signal yet. Oh, the two fans in the front are not lit up. Interesting. Yes. Is that supposed to be like that? No. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Oh, let's go! All right, so with that, I believe we are done. There are a couple of more last minute things that we need to do. Obviously right now it's just on the Biosar. There's gonna be nothing too exciting for you to be looking at here just yet. We will be giving you every single update when we customize the PC in the part two of this video. The only other thing besides obviously getting my boy all up and running is we do need to get a, a splitter for the fans we because- We ran out of uh, USB slots on our uh, thing. So we can just get a splitter, it'll be fine. And the fans are working, it's just that there's no colors, which is fine because mm -hmm. obviously the fact that they're spinning is what's important, right? So overall, I would say it was excess. We had a bunch of bumps in the road, but that's okay. We got through it and I, I really, really like this thing. I love the look of it. I I'm sure she's gonna be a powerful one, so. Very, very excited to record and stream with this thing and all that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. We'll see you in part two. Hey, thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate it. We had a fantastic time building the PC and I hope you guys enjoyed watching us build it as well. It's gonna help me with a lot of future upcoming projects and just in general having a computer to game on. As well, we are gonna be doing a part two to this video. We're gonna be customizing the PC and giving a little bit of a Dragon Ball flair. So definitely stick around for that video. See you then.